Uh, all this information is redundant. So in Power Query, it's pretty easy to remove all this information. Just go to remove rows, remove top rows. Okay, and we want to remove the first 10 top rows. And okay, and I remove the first 10 top rows and uh, our headers at the moment they're in the first rows, it's not good. So we have to promote it to the first rows, and you can do it with one click of a button. Just like that, and you're promoting the headers to the top row. Uh, looking at our data, we don't need this ref for analysis. So to remove it is pretty easy. You click on it, and you go to remove columns okay uh also these cells uh where we have already indicated the sales data so uh this are uh, these columns is also redundant again you go click on it remove column column and uh, if you're familiar with the rules of data normalization is that every value or attribute should, should be contained in its own column like the store that in its own column Category is on column, so we also need a column for the date and a column for the sales, not sales being distributed like this. So to do that in Power in in Power Query is pretty easy. First of all, you select the column that you want to keep that they're good, and then you go to Transform and Pivot Columns. You click on this arrow, and then you unpivot other columns. Okay.